What's good, guys? This story is coming out of Louisiana. It was updated roughly two hours ago, so around 5 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Remains of woman who went missing 27 years ago found. She left on November the 3rd, 1993. I won't ever forget that date. It was the day 40-year-old Kara Vaughn vanished without a trace from Natchez, Louisiana. On Monday, her sister Lynn got a call from an unknown number. It was Sheriff Wright, the Natchez Parish Sheriff, and he said, Lynn, I hate to tell you like this, but I think we found Kara. Lynn Vaughn may look familiar to you. She anchored CNN Headline News from 1984 to 1998 and was also a contributor for CBS 46. Her rise to the top sadly coincided with the unexpected disappearance of her sister. We just thought she was making a run and would come back. And so all these years we have searched and searched and searched, she told Ashley Thompson, the reporter for CBS 46. No leads went anywhere, but in January, fishermen spotted a car in Louisiana's Cane River. Winter weather would soon follow and the search was briefly paused. On Monday of this week, divers pulled a 1978 Honda Civic out of the water along with remains. It was the same car Kara drove. Officials said her work ID was in the car. The two sisters grew up next to the Cane River. Their mother died in 2012 without ever knowing what happened to Kara. Over the years, Lynn tried her best to make peace with her sister's disappearance. Just recently, though, Ashley, I will tell you that I prayed. I asked God to let me know something before I went so that somebody in the family would know. And so this is the answer to my prayer. That is a picture of Kara. Mm. Although a heartbreaking end to a 27-year-long search, Lynn says she's happy for some closure and that her mother and sister are reunited. I have a big, huge hole in my heart, but at the same time, I'm so grateful to have solved the mystery of my sister's disappearance, she said. Let's watch the video that goes with this story. Closure, three decades in the making for a former face of national news, former CNN anchor Lynn Bond's sister, presumed found after vanishing in 1993, Sean. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is live to explain the break in the case that led to this huge discovery. Ashley. Sean, flyers like this one went out all around the small Louisiana town that Kara Vaughn went missing in. She vanished just as her sister's star here at CNN was rising. She left on November 3rd, 1993. I won't ever forget that date. The day 40-year-old Kara Vaughn vanished without a trace from Natchitoches, Louisiana, 27 long years ago. Yesterday, her sister Lynn got a call from an unknown number. It was Sheriff Wright, uh, the Natchitoches Parish Sheriff. And he said, Lynn, um, I hate to tell you like this, he said, but I think we found Kara. Hour. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lynn Vaughn. Lynn Vaughn may look familiar to you. She anchored CNN headline news from 1984 to 1998 and was also a contributor for CBS 46. Her rise to the top coinciding with the unexpected disappearance of her sister. We just thought she was making a run and would come back. You know, and we'll come back. And so all these years we have searched and searched and searched. No leads went anywhere, but then fishermen spotted a car in Louisiana's Cane River. Yesterday, divers pulled it out along with remains. It was a 1978 Honda Civic, the same car Kara drove when she went missing. Officials say her work ID was in it. The two sisters grew up next to the Cane River. Their mother died in 2012 without ever knowing what happened to Kara. Over the years, Lynn tried her best to make peace with her sister's disappearance. Just recently though, Ashley, I will tell you that I prayed. I asked God to let me know something before she 
before I went so that somebody in the family would know. And so this is the answer to my prayer. Although a heartbreaking end to a 27 year long search, Lynn says she's happy for some closure and that her mother and sister are reunited. I have a big, huge hole in my heart, but at the same time, I am so grateful to have solved the mystery of my sister's disappearance. And it is still unclear how Kara ended up in the Cane River. Lynn tells me she had made remarks in the past about harming herself. And Lynn wants people to know there is hope and help out there. We do want to put the number up to the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. It is 1-800-273-8255. Live in Atlanta, I'm Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News. Ashley, th- Sad, sad story. I hated to hear that her mother had passed away without knowing whatever happened to her child. Even though she was 40, that was still her child. Um, you know, these stories really get to me because I cannot imagine being in these people's shoes. 27 years without her sister, her mother without her daughter. Mm, it's terrible, terrible. I'm going to end the story on that note. Thanks for watching, guys.